Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jordan, and welcome to JC's Anime Reviews. And today we're going to be talking about the Irregular at Magic High School Visitor Arc, which is Season 2. And I basically want to make this video to go over, like, should you watch Season 2 or not? Because I'm sure there's a lot of people who do really like the show. I know that it's pretty popular. I don't think that it's a very great show. I do love it, though. Not for the right reasons. If you look at my Season 1 review title, the title was, like, this anime is so bad, I love it, or but I love it, or something like that that because I really liked it and I kind of looked at it more of like a guilty pleasure anime. I'm sure some of you probably do really like it, but I didn't think it was very good. It kind of sucked. There were a lot of really fun scenes though with Tatsuya, the main character, just doing some ridiculously over the top and crazy stuff. I love that. That's why I really liked it. I felt like I didn't have to pay a whole lot of attention to it and I could kind of turn my brain off. That's how I felt about season one. And I'm sure that there are other people who didn't really like season one who probably didn't look at it that way, who probably just didn't like it at all, which I could definitely see but in season two it does get a little bit better i'll go over the plot in a minute and stuff like that but i will just tell you straight up it does get a little bit better i don't know if it's worth it or not probably not though it doesn't get a whole lot better if you didn't like season one may not like season two you might like it a little bit more but i will go into my thoughts on it now and go over the plot just wanted to answer that question real quick so you're not sitting through the whole video if you want to hear my full thoughts on it um that's what i'll start talking about now so the story for this season is basically that the school is doing this transfer program where a student from their school in Japan goes to a school in America, or a magic school in America, and the magic school in America sends someone from America to Japan. And the person that they send to Japan is this girl named Lina, and basically we find out that she is the head of this like super elite military organization called the stars or is one of the head people in it and whenever she goes out on a job or whatever she puts on a mask and it changes her eye color and her hair color so you can't tell that it's her and she uses that to disguise herself and go on missions and stuff like that and she's what's known as a I think it's a catastrophe class magician or something like that, which is basically a magician on the same level of Tatsuya or someone with like ridiculous power or something like that. Tatsuya is stronger, obviously, but her reason for going to the school is she has a mission to find out. So if you remember, if you watch season one at that, or we're going to go into season one spoilers, by the way, but at the end of season one, Tatsuya did this thing where he like destroyed like a whole fleet of ships and left like a hole in the ocean, some crazy shit like that. And basically she's supposed to find out who did that and they think that it's probably Tatsuya so she goes to the school to find out who it is she kind of already knows or thinks that it's Tatsuya so she's going there basically to investigate him and find out if he really is this magician who caused this horrible thing or whatever and while she's there while she's trying to figure out whether or not Tatsuya is actually the person who did it they find out that there are these incidents happening about these things called I think they call them vampires at first but they end up calling them parasites. And I guess the vampires take over someone's body and then go around killing people and then, like, drain the body or kill the body. Something like that. They went, were going around killing people. So they find out that there are these incidents and her mission changes from trying to get Tatsuya or find out if it's him to stopping these parasite things that are attacking people around Japan or around their city or whatever. And of course Tatsuya gets involved too. So season two does get a little bit better. I thought the plot was a little bit more interesting this time. Way more interesting than most of the stories that they did in the first season because the first season was split up into different parts and each part they were doing like a new thing. It's definitely a little bit more interesting and by far the best thing about season two is the new character, Lina. She's the best character, or my favorite character in the whole show. She's one of the few kind of interesting characters. I mean, she's not like an amazing character. I, I still really liked her, but like she's a pretty good character compared to most of the other characters because a lot of the other characters aren't very good. I really liked her. She's really badass, like how Tatsuya is. And we do get a lot more badass moments with Tatsuya, which was something I wanted to see. And we didn't really get a whole lot in season one. We got like some scenes here and there but I think we got a little bit more or maybe it's about the same he is pretty badass she's pretty badass and I really like her I like the mask thing I thought that was kind of cool like an advanced Batman mask or something where you put it on change the color of your hair eye color and stuff like that it kind of reminded me of Batgirl I think Batgirl Batwoman I think it's Batwoman who uses I think it's like a wig or something and it sticks out of her hair or maybe she does have red hair it kind of reminded me of something like that and it was kind of cool I liked that they used like a ma magic this way it was kind of interesting and um at first with the first like few episodes i was like is this actually good like am i actually enjoying it and not 
for like a so bad it's good reason like am i actually liking this and then more episodes continued and then eh, it it gets a little bit weird towards the last two episodes the last two episodes for me were the worst episodes of this season they get really bad because they kind of tried to throw in another plot it just felt weird it felt like they were starting this next season uh, it was weird it didn't feel like they needed to and they just kind of it felt like it was just kind of thrown in to make as much as possible or to fit however much of the story in this season i feel like it should have ended and didn't have and shouldn't have had those last two episodes because it ends the story and everything kind of wraps up and then it tries to continue on to start the story for the next season it's not very good it gets a little bit messy also there's still the same sexual tension between tatsuya and miyuki who are brother and sister by the way in case you didn't know that yeah that that's not gone there's i think maybe more scenes it, it's weird like like, I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. I just don't feel like they really needed to put that in there. I don't know. It's weird. I don't... I really don't like it. It is what it is, though. That's still there. So the second season is pretty much the same as the first season. It still kind of has the same things. So there's some cool scenes, some cool fights and stuff like that, but not very interesting characters except Lina. It has an interesting character and a somewhat sort of interesting plot, and that's about all I can say about season two. It is what it is. It's not very good still i'm not gonna grade it i didn't grade the first season i just don't feel like grading these they're like so bad it's good so not gonna be grading that i don't think i graded the one in the random anime review i did that one is my favorite so bad it's good anime i'm not gonna say what it is but i love the anime in that video if you want to check out that video i'll link it in the description season two i don't think it's worth watching if you didn't like season one. If you like season one, it's definitely worth watching. I think it's better than season one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you are planning on checking out season two, or if you've seen season two, let me know what you thought of it. Or if you haven't seen season two and only saw season one and didn't really like it or liked it, let me know what you thought of it. So I'll see you guys next time with another video. So bye.